Okay, so I've asked a question like, <clears throat> if you're getting like repetitive thoughts, like um, you feel you've been victimized uh, by a situation and you can't let go of those thoughts, how do you, how do you let go of those thoughts? You know, if I feel, um, for example, I guess if I feel that um, a person has victimized me or hasn't understood me, uh, in the, if I'm getting a lot of thoughts which I can't let go of, the, the victim thoughts, then that would mean that it's triggered, you know, probably the event has triggered um, a lot of, uh, when, something, when something is really um, creating a lot of fear or a lot of negativity, it probably like, it's, a, it's, it's also probably related to some previous event as well. So it's just bringing up a lot of stuff and so you can have when the thoughts are going very, very quickly, it means there's a lot of repressed emotions and probably has a wound which is deeper than what's currently being done. It's representative of, um, you know, like the, the idea of being victimized is quite, a, um, quite an archetypal thing. You know, it's like, oh, it reminds me when I was being, you know, if, someone's a victim, if I feel someone's been horrible to me today, it might remind me of my father being horrible to me when I was a kid. So it brings up a lot of stuff. And when, when the thoughts are repetitive, it means it's quite deep. You know, it's, it's hard to let go of. And it means that there's a lot of negative emotion. Because if there's not a lot of negative emotion, then it's very easy to release thoughts. Mm. So there'll be, so if I'm having a lot of thought, oh, this person victimized me, I can't let it go. There'll be a lot of feelings or emotions associated with that. So one way, probably if it's a lot of feelings, the first thing I would do is to do feel the feelings. So try and let go of the victim thoughts, let go of attaching to the thoughts, and just be with the energy or the vibration of it, and just feel out like it could be anger or fear. So just feel out all of that energy until it's gone. As you feel out the repressed energy, the thoughts will get less intense and less frequent, because they need the emotion to, to sort of fuel them. Now when the energies, the emotions are gone, the thoughts are easier to release. So, Feel and let go of the story, feel let go of the story. So you release the emotional charge. And then um, with, the, with whatever thoughts are left, you can do a few things. One is you could go to, or you could practice the observer from the beginning. So you could practice being the observer. Let's say there's uh, fear or anger and lots of thoughts. I'm a victim, I'm a victim of this situation. So being the observer of the emotion and the body and the thoughts will start to detach you from identifying with the feeling and the thoughts. So is the observer of the victim thoughts and the feeling, is the observer victimized? Is the observer of the thought? Being the observer, observing the thought. And then being the detached observer, observing. The and the detached observer is not even interested in the victim story. So then the victim story starts to lose its power to hook in. Or if you're going to the observer of the fear or the anger, it'll start to lose its, its power, its identification. So it'll start to dissolve. So you can feel the feelings or go to the observer. The other thing to do is just to, you know, I mean, using the word victim, there's prayers from A Course in Miracles. I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim of this person saying that to me. I'm not a victim of uh, you know, being bullied, you know, or I place this person and this situation into God's infinite light and love, or I pray for a miracle to see being a victim in this situation differently. So you can either do feel the feelings or the observer or do a few prayers and that will start to release. As you pray for a miracle to see it differently, well maybe maybe it wasn't, maybe the person wasn't victimized, maybe you misinterpreted it, or maybe the person, as you pray for a miracle to see it differently, you get a different interpretation, mm. Mm. Uh, a higher spiritual context. or. Or you can see it as just a, a, a you know, a, a, if you're doing the observer, it's just something to transcend. You know, it's because your ego takes this, tracking this information as being important. But if you keep going to the observer, detached observer is not interested in this information, doesn't experience the victimhood. And the funny thing is when you go to these, when you clear it, it tends to happen less. The more you clear it, it tends to happen less. Oh. You know, but the more you hold on to it, the more it starts to happen even more. So when you're staying in a place of fear and victimhood and just thinking more about victimhood and really inc increasing your fear, it tends to happen more. You attract that more into your environment and the more you release it, the less it tends to happen because mm. um, even this thing, you know, like if I was, uh, 
if I felt someone put a donut on the table and I felt I was being a victim because someone left a donut on the table and being victimized by the donut, then if I go to the observer of that, and the observer doesn't really notice the, the donut, you see. And then even if there's a donut there or not, I'm not a victim.